Periods of land injustices they face, especially when inheriting from the parents and after the death of their spouses. Now, to alleviate the situation, the Civil Society Network in Kisumu has come up with a program dubbed Haki Mashinani, which is expected to go deep into grassroots level to help settle such matter both at the local and the national level. Now, the chair of the network, Ms. Betty Okero, says that many women have been denied their land due to cultural practices, and the journey to recover the land has been so hectic. It's going to uh, be um, to, to give the women the capacity and empowerment to be able to uh, uh, take on their, their, their rights as landowners. Uh, and going forward, uh, they, they, they will be in touch with the institutions that can help them, with the, uh, uh, you know, people who can facilitate for them in, in case there are any problems. So I think this is a very important project and uh, hopefully it starts in Kisumu County, but we hope it will uh, soon spread not only to other uh, counties but all over Western Kenya. So far, the land, even in our own community, the Luos, the land was only captured by the elders. An old man, elders could capture the land, but the ownership was purely for the women. These were the people who were who were attending to the land, and the, the people that knew what to be done by the land, not was they, not elders. The 2010 constitution gave us a, a leeway, and it is there that both men and women, all spouses, own the title, and the titles now should have the two names, husband and wife. And that is exactly what we are now preaching, and it should be done. And we believe if it is done, there will be joint ownership, joint responsibility, because the ladies, the women, are the people who take care of us.